Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, I am going to show you how to use the 8x8 LED matrix. We're going to hook it up to the Arduino board. Then we're going to display some images, like these two. Basically, it consists of 64 LEDs that we can control using 5 pins. And that's because we have this Max72 module. I'm using the Max72191, but you could have the Max72 21 module. Anyway, before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. And let's jump right into it. So this is the 8x8 LED matrix, which consists of 64 LEDs that we can control from the Arduino board using these 5 pins. We have the VCC, which goes to the 5V pin of the Arduino, the G and D to the ground. Then we have three more pins, the data in, CS, and the clock. We're going to connect these to the digital pins, number 12, 11, and 10. So first let's connect the VCC. You will need few jumper wires. And let's connect it to the 5V pin of the Arduino. Then the G and D goes to the G and D, and then we're going to connect the data in to the digital pin number 12. Then we have the CS pin goes to the pin number 11, and finally the clock pin goes to the pin number 10. Now we can move to the Arduino IDE to control these LEDs. First we have a library that we need to install. You need to go to Tools, then Manage Libraries, and the library is called LED Control. I've already installed this library, but make sure to install it using the Install button. I'm using the version 1.0.6. Once you install it, we can go back to the Arduino IDE and load it using include, then the name of the library ledcontrol.h. Then we have to create the LED control object. The type is LED control. And let's call it LC. And here we have to add few parameters. The first one is the DN pin, which is number 12. Then the clock, number 10. And finally the CS, which we have connected to the pin number 11. Or let's use few variables. Using int dn equals 12, CS equals 11. And finally we have the CLK or clock equals 10. And let's use these variables instead. The first parameter is the dn, then the clock. And finally the CS. Then we need to provide the number of units that we have used. Here I'm gonna pass in one because we're using one unit. Then let's move to the setup function so that we can change some settings like the brightness of the LEDs. And to do that, let's write LC dot set intensity. So this is the method that is used to change the brightness of the LEDs. First, we need to add the address of the LED matrix. Because we're using one LED matrix, the address is zero. So if you have more than one LED matrix, you could set the brightness of each one, and the intensity is a value between zero and 15. Let's set it to eight, which is about the middle. Then we need to make sure that the display is cleared using LC dot clear display. This will turn the LEDs off. And the same thing, we need to pass in the address of the unit. Also, I forgot to mention that we are using the LED matrix that comes with the MAX7219 module, which is this shape. Basically, it allows you to control these 64 LEDs using three pins, D, N, C, S, and clock. And this module comes with a power saving mode feature. We can disable it using LC dot shutdown the first parameter is the address of the LED matrix 
then false to turn it off. Let's upload the code. And as you can see, the display is cleared because we have used lc.clear display. Now we can control all of the 64 LEDs using some other methods. For example, we have lc.setLED. The first parameter is the address. Then we need to specify the LED position. For example, if we want to turn this LED on, we can set the row, which is number 2. So this is the first row, has the index 0, 1, then 2. And the same thing, we need to set the column. This is the column number 0, 1, and 2 as well. And to turn it on, let's pass in true and upload the code. And there you go, we have this LED that is turned on. Let's select another one, like the third column. Actually, this is the fourth column. Now you will see this LED that is turned on. And yeah, it's working. Also, we have other methods, like set row. This takes the address as usual. Then the index of the row, for example, the first one. Then we can use a binary number to turn the LEDs on and off. For example, let's turn on the first three LEDs using the number one. And let's turn off the next two LEDs and turn on the other three. Now let's upload the code. And there you go, we have the first three that are turned on. Then these are turned off. And finally we have one, one, one. I hope that makes sense. Now we can display different fonts or different images using this LED matrix. And to do that, we need to set all of the rows. Let's use this tool that I found online. Basically, it allows you to draw the image. Here we have 8x8 eight eight LED matrix. If you click on the LED, you can turn it on. For example, let's use it to create a smile face. Then we can take this array that contains all of the rows. Let's copy it. You could also use the hexadecimal values to make it easier. Then let's go back to the code. And let's add a new variable, which is an array of bytes. Using byte, I'm going to call it face, equals the array that we have copied using control V. And because this is an array, we need to add these square brackets and pass in the number of elements. We have eight rows. This is the first one. And then let's go back to the loop function. We can set each row using a for loop. So let's write 4, then int i equals 0, until i is less or equal to 7. So if you didn't watch my video about the for loops, make sure to check it out. I'm going to add a link to it under the video description. And each time we are going to increment this i variable by 1. Then we can set the row using lc dot set row. We give it the address 0. Then the index of the row, I'm going to use the i variable. And for the row, we're going to use one of the face elements. We can give it the index, which is i. Then it will pick up one of these. First, it will pick up the first row, the second, until we set all of the rows. Now let's upload the code. Now you could use this 8x8 LED matrix to all of your projects. I've already created a snake game using the 8x8 LED matrix and the joystick. Let's improve the code a bit. We can create a separate function that we can give it the byte array and it will draw it. First we need to give it the return type, which is void. Then let's call it display image or let's call it display bytes. We're going to give it the array using byte. Let's call it image. And don't forget to add the square brackets because we have an array. Then I'm going to copy this for loop and let's paste it. Now this function will take the image array and it will loop through all of its elements and draw it using set row. But make sure to change this to the image parameter. 
Now we can use this function by writing the name display bytes. We give it the face array and it will draw the image. So one of the advantages is that you could call this function again using display bytes and we can pass in a different array like angry. So let's go back to the app and let's create an angry face. You could also use the hexadecimal version. So let's copy it and create the variable. First, we add the type of elements, which are bytes. Then the name of the variable, angry. And let's add these square brackets. We have eight elements equals the array that we have copied. And you see that the hexadecimal version is much cleaner, but you will need to add a little bit of delay so that you could see the different images using delay 1000 milliseconds or let's use two seconds then we need to wait a bit because we have a loop function that is called over and over again and let's upload the code and there you go it's working so i think that's pretty much it guys for this video if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that helps me a lot, and I will see you in the next one.